Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. All right, some of the parts of the country have snow, mm -hmm. some have hail, but shh, don't tell them how it looks here. <laughs> right. Or they're else going to come here right away. We got heat. And I, yeah. by the way, I, when I was checking my forecast here on my phone, it said no 90 degrees, so I thought it was cooler, but I guess not. Gotta check your humans. phone. Gotta trust. <laughs> wow. My bad. You're the man. That's right. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll send you my app. 81 <laughs> degrees right now. Yeah, you know, 89 to 90, 87 to 91. The thing is, though, because the humidity is going to be so high, the feels like temperatures will be in the 90s this week, and I'll show you that in a second. But we hit 84 today. That's four above the average of 80. And now look at the overnight temperatures with that east wind. It is difficult now to go below 70 degrees. In fact, we're just going to go up from that. So overnight temps in the lower 70s. There is the heat coming up. I think tomorrow we're still low to mid 80s, but then upper 80s, and that's when the humidity opens up, and that's why the feels like numbers, even in the shade, that's how it's going to feel heading into the weekend. So it's a three day stretch, unlike the last one, we had only a couple of days there, but then we drop down big time. That is going to feel nice. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we drop back to average. The humidity drops as well, so it's like we start all over again, kind of like earlier this week. So that is the setup here with this high continuing out to dominate the pattern. Notice not much action across the eastern seaboard, so it's going to take a while to get that front that will eventually cool us back down. Down here right now, it's causing all sorts of uh, havoc there across uh, the middle of the country with a, a severe weather outbreak. But for us, just a few puffy cumulus clouds. You see some high-level clouds kind of streaming in from west to east, but nothing really blocking the sunshine at this point. Going to stay warm tomorrow, then hot and humid, and then the front slowly but surely begins to push down to the south. I don't think it gets here until Monday evening. So I think Monday we still have a pretty good chance of hitting 90 degrees for the first time. If we don't, it'll still feel very hot with the humidity and then that drops along with the temperatures beginning Tuesday and heading into the middle part of next week. There's Ray Tracker quiet for the rest of uh, tonight, heading into your Friday, kicking off the weekend. It's finally here, and there you see just some inland showers uh, that are not gonna bother us at all. On the beach, rip currents are high, and now we've added the surf. That's gonna start getting uh, a little dangerous out there, so really shouldn't be in the water. UB index is gonna be very high, and we have the um, rip current statement out from the National Weather Service that includes all our area beaches there. So obviously, that's something to watch. Small craft caution now for boaters on both the Atlantic waters and the Florida Keys. Not an advisory, but things starting to ramp up a little bit as the winds begin to pick up ahead of that system. Temps again tomorrow. We should manage low to mid 80s, and then your weekend forecast will feature that heat coming in, continuing through Monday, and then breaking by Tuesday.